pick some interesting points uh, during gameplay and maybe some our guys uh, that uh, right now are streaming with me can say something but I think it's quite impossible because we have a really immersive and uh, you know action gameplay so uh, we started uh, from a uh, typical spawn points of uh, beers and u6 it's uh, like protagonists it's uh, we have uh, two factions one of one of it called united security it's pro west uh, pro europe pro pro western yeah it's a pro western uh private military company and uh, russian uh, beer that uh, they was caught into a fire on the, you know, on the area of city of Tarkov, quite a, you know, heavy times so that uh, we are on the edge, you know, on the edge of darkness. So something, something is going to be, you know, uh, take place, and uh, it's like uh, really hard times, and it's like alternative reality in. Uh, fictional city of Russia and we are trying to take part in this uh, situations uh, from simple survival to exploration and uh, you know mystery solving stuff like plot twists and so on uh, so we have uh, early morning as I believe it's it's early morning on our in our location we have uh, uh, right now we have fully synchronized time on the server, so everybody can uh, see exact uh, exact uh, time of day on on you know it's a quite you know uh, on every computer on the, every player will see the exact time of the day, and uh, we were also playing with with our guys from backup team. It's uh, it's whole bunch of scavengers it's like third third hey, uh, hey. oh it's like george george Bears. george oh, found, uh, found uh, kiva george with shotgun i think you, you it's better to go you know find some action so uh <clears throat> my vocabulary is uh, Became it will be, become be, becoming more or less and less. So I'm just gonna switch to some you know uh, simple explanations. Maybe even switch to Russian just to ensure every, everything is going well. Okay, it's not. Пните, пните Антона, спросите, там нормально все вообще идет на этот раз? Окей. The stream uh, will consist of uh, several parts, like exact gameplay, live gameplay. Also, we uh, will uh, answer some questions. After after that, we will play more, and also show some features, some cool features like um, weapon customization and ballistics and stuff. So right now, our guys is trying to loot some stuff and provisions uh, just to ensure their survival. We uh, on this uh, exact location, we have a. Uh, have a purpose, we have a goal to get out alive from this exact location and uh, transfer to factory location and uh, this open world uh, location called RAID have, uh, it uh, has uh, lots of exits, lots of secret uh, places, locked doors and stuff uh, just to uh, make the game more you know, explorable and uh, mm, and interesting in terms of uh, finding some cool stuff and uh, reaching some unreachable places and finding some cool stuff there. So, George, can you tell us what's going on right now? There is a bridge to the uh, some some place where living savages 
and we go into uh, maybe kill some guys and uh, loot them and try to get out from the location. Okay. So, so our our, our uh, savage of a scout scavenger team. It's not quite a team. It's like everything on their own, and uh, they have a. Uh, some weapons, you know, maybe some automatic weapons, some shotguns, even the grenades, just to, you know, to make our stream more, more funny or more, more immersive. And uh, I think we will we will be will able to see some action really soon. Kiba, how is going? Kibo, how's it going? Can you tell us, please? Enemy uh, contact! Enemy contact. Enemy. I found the uh, rifle. Kibo, Kibo found the man for rifle and uh, jo George said that uh, he encountered some enemies, so it's better to take haste than help him. On the road! He's quite busy, you know. He... <laughs> He wanna just mod, mod his rifle. We have a customization option. Some. In front of you. Just, he installed the silencer to to be like special forces. The brute team. Near the containers. On the crossroad! On the crossroad, bro! I see, I Josh, you can tell, uh, tell uh, Kiba some recommendations and some status reports on Russian just to ensure he understands you. Can you speak in Russian? Yes, yes, yes. Hello. There Kiba, was please. another one. Kiba plays as Yusek and uh, he has uh, he has some Yusek standard gear like P320, 226, 226. It's like standard firearm, standard uh, for Yusek standard pistol with a flashlight. He found uh, uh, M4 rifle and attached a suppressor to it. Kiba said, Kiba said that uh, he, uh, he had a, not, not, not so many ammunition. Ты слышал его, короче, он сказал, да? Да. А, окей. Ну что, живые остались, нет? Видел одного, он убежал к общагам. Looks like uh, our battle situation is changing and uh, they got some guys, uh, they, they dropped them and some of, some of them are going to the uh, citizen block. Как общага по-английски, честно говоря, я не знаю. Dormitory. It's like a three uh, three floor building where uh, factory factory workers lived uh, before the Tarkov conflict. It's like it's right now. It's quite a base for uh, scavengers. They have some cool loot over there, and also some uh, interesting doors. Ivan, where are you? Which are closed, and the keys from the exit of this location. Ivan is going to loot someone. As you can see, we have a very minimalistic design of battle screen. Uh, we, you know, you, you simply can't see anything that blocks your visions, like some bars and uh, fields and some crosshairs, it's like pure hardcore uh, interface. It's simply nothing. It, it and it's uh, based on the um, on the 
impact of uh, of the action that you take. It's like you uh, you got a mm, injury and uh, part of it will pop up to to stay and show that uh, you're in bad condition. Also, you can check some ammo with the special keys. You can it to all patrons. It's like like this, it's like 14 rounds in the magazine. Have a camping over there. Maybe we can drop some guitars later, but we already dropped them on another oh, no. camping camping location. Okay, let's see what's going on. He didn't. What about uh, the his history of Tarkov? It's about his history of Tarkov. Uh, history of Tarkov. So they had Tarkov is a Russian fictional city, and it's quite European city with uh, lots of uh, you know uh, European style of infrastructure and the development of, this, of the city. <coughs> it's located between the Saint Petersburg and Murmansk, and uh, uh, there are lots of uh, dark you know stuff it's like conspiracies and corruption are going in the city it's like you know it's like Gotham City but not Russian <laughs> but Russian version of it and uh, right I've now we have, here. We, we have a fully concealed city with with its suburbs uh, and locations uh, the, city, the city block blocked with UN forces and Russian military forces and uh, you know it's quite a, a zone uh, with, a, with the borders uh, consists of snipers and minefields that you need to you need to get out of this zone alive. So the main idea, the main idea of uh, of naming of a game is escape from Tarkov. You need to escape from Tarkov for life. And uh, when you try to do it, you will see how many. Uh, mysteries and and uh, tasks you need to solve it's not just the only it's not just about the survival it's more like human relations between men, with the mercenaries and the local uh, guys like scavengers and UN forces and stuff Kibo is looting a dead body as you can see uh, some uh, items popping up in the process <clears throat> I've got a surprise for you. Take this one. Ooh. What's this? Okay. Like? <laughs> Что там? Uh, uh, George uh, dropped uh, EOTech XPS holographic scope and keep already installed it. Okay, he got a key and uh, this key, this exact key is, uh, it's from um, from the entrance to the factory that, you know, you, you need to get get into this factory and one of our, one of our entrance locations, it's a frontal, you know, fr frontal location to get into this factory. Uh -huh. Thanks, Kiba. As I said before, we have a uh, three floor, two block, two blocks, two buildings of a uh, uh, city, citizen, citizen apartments and every single room is fully searchable and lootable so every single drawer you can open it you can break it and you can pick pick lock later pick lock and even if you have a key you can uh, buy this key from a trader later and uh, get into this location and open this door with this, with this key so um, there is a lots of rooms and lots of places to be searched to be searched as I believe Kiba just got the PB pistol. 
and we'll try to assemble it later. Why later? Now, he said. <clears throat> There is, there is a not so, you know, there's a, not much room in his inventory. So he is assembling a pistol. Okay. How is it going, mister? He is, he's loading his gun and ready to go. Nice gun. <laughs> this is so right now, so right now, uh, our guys is going to fueling station, uh, gas station in America, a fueling station. I don't know how to tell it exactly. Place where you can load your car with some gasoline, uh, and uh, we can also see some side side mini locations like the bus stop. Покажи им bus stop. Прыгнуть вперед чуть. Yeah. We can go to cars. Какого машину колотать? закрыта. It's closed. Too bad. So, hey, during, yeah. during the raid, you, you can you can take many ways to complete the raid. You can uh, move freely and try to make your own um, ro route to take some advantage advantage and complete complete the raid really fast. It uh, depends on your knowledge of location and your tactical abilities like uh, weapons and uh, gear. I'm hit. Josh hit. Some tough scavenger. Minus. Nice one. Here is our gas station. Pump station. There is another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the gas station. Чего ты лазер то не вырубил? Keep a switch off his laser pointer to make some sneaky action. Okay, <laughs> friendly. Time to loot some po some bodies. In escape from Tarkov, we can die uh, sim simply from one bullet. Uh, we, can, uh, we can get the uh, hit. You can get hit uh, on the stomach with a single bullet and bleed, bleed out to death. Uh, there's a there's a lots of different yeah. ways to you know, to die. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's 
on this uh, uh, exact location, uh, there will be some limitation of uh, PMC players. Players of so this location consists of two types of players, PMCs, it's like Bear or, and Usec, and the Scavengers. Scavengers uh, is uh, it's a uh, wave-based uh, spawns. They can you know, rush you out from the location, and uh, Usec and Bear's limitations are between 10 or 14 people. So right now we're playing just two of uh, PMC characters, but we can play on these locations by 10, uh, 10, 10 players. With uh, you, you can uh, get it, get in this raid with your friends, and to to cooperate and try to win. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Кибер, что происходит? Ты убил Жора. Кибер just killed Жора, Джордж. He thought that Джордж is gonna he thought that Джордж will betray him, but he take the action first and kill. Wait a minute. So the Kibo is all alone with some scavengers, and he. Open the uh, entrance to the factory. This in this location, uh, you, you have a prerequisite that tells you that uh, there is a not a good option to kill your friends, to kill your PMCs, or even. Uh, not your PMC or just every P PMC operator and you will receive some minuses in karma and if you have a low karma you will get some strange stuff like you are going to be sick for no reason you're going to, you're going to take more gems okay Kiba is dropped and I think this is our first uh, session, and uh, we're going to stop this. We're going to stop this exact uh, session and make some pause, make some uh, some uh, three or five minutes to take rest, and after and after this, we're going to answer some questions. And let's stay tuned. And thank you, everybody who came and who, who are watching who are watching our stream. And uh, sorry for our English and stuff. So let's stay tuned.